this is my game against uh, Zurika on Chess Temple and uh, just want to show you how to how I managed to create a nice queen pin and win the game after with uh, uh, by resignation because my opponent realized that it's, 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 he's losing the queen so basically what you do is like I just started off like this uh, I actually sucked my pawn which is uh, just a random choice um, then I pushed my d5 he took, I took with a queen hoping for some kind of uh, crazy check or at least attacking the knight mm, he defended the knight nicely uh, so I uh, I brought up my bishop just in case he wants to give me discovery check the bishop uh, prevents it and then he attacked my queen which is nice and uh, yeah I moved it back I mean I want to still want to keep uh, guard the bishop uh, also I just want to I didn't want to actually give up on this knight uh, he pushed a, a four pawn and I then brought, brought my knight um, basically my idea was to get the fork he <laughs> attacked my bishop and I actually didn't rea didn't re uh, react I actually was able to suck my bishop for the sake of the of the fork so basically I jumped on b4 and if he took my bishop I would just give him a fork so it wouldn't be a sack probably but uh, because I would have a rook for the bishop but you know it's a risky business and then he realized that so he decided to attack my queen bishop was still hanging though and uh, fork was still uh, available so I forked uh, my opponent uh, <laughs> had probably no choice. I mean, probably move, was able to move his king to f2 actually, but maybe he was scared that I'm going to give 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 him a check or something if he moves to a2 f2. So I could have taken the rook actually, but uh, my queen was hanging. Yeah, so I uh, I moved my queen back to e7. And uh, now <laughs> I had my knight hanging and my bishop hanging, so <laughs> he took the bishop. He took the knight. It's free, so why not? And uh, and I took the pawn with the check, which is kind of interesting because he can't really hide on b1. He doesn't want to go to b3, so he went back to to d1. And this uh, gave me this opportunity. If you see, mm, if you see the queen and the uh, king just next to each other uh, you can always think about trying to pin if you have light square bishop in this case you you can probably think about you can only think about trying to pin your opponent but to pin your opponent queen you have to find give give this bishop give this bishop uh, support so bona pin so basically i just moved back of course just want, wanted to it's not about like exchanging the queens i wasn't scared of exchanging the queens I was scared of. Uh, uh, I just wanted to keep the queen on 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 e2 to uh, to still be able to actually pi pi uh, pin it. So uh, then he uh, he moved. He played b3. Probably wanted to open his bishop. And then I decided to go for knight to uh, knight to f6. And then my uh, wait. I'm just trying to see how how this. Yeah, and then my bishop can actually go here with the pin, with the nice pin. So this was my plan. Played my opponent didn't see that, so he played d d3. Uh, probably again, giving uh, opportunity to bishop to come out. And then I just played this move, <laughs> and then my opponent resigned. If you see uh, the queen and the king in this kind of situation next to each other, and you see that your you ha still have the bishop, you still have the bishop the same color as your uh, as your queen's opponent then you can go for it uh, so yeah it was a nice game i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> thank you for watching